the difference between what I'm interested in and what maybe others um, don't see as being so important is everything that I do has to be uh, creatively driven. And the creative management of a company our size um, being consistent and creatively led is, makes it ultimately quite complicated. I became very interested in Chicago architecture and design, uh, the grid, um, the Mies van der Rohe uh, buildings. My brother taught at IIT. He lived in a Mies apartment. My parents eventually did as well. I had zero formal training or anything like that. When I was in the special effects business, we had to really get deep into things like motion control. Um, I worked with the Jet Propulsion Lab. I worked with NICOR on special lenses and on, with Kodak on special film stocks and with um, um, a lot of companies on creating dual pin registered camera systems and that were computer controlled. And so I really fell right into the very beginnings of um, computer graphics. We developed the first computer assisted cameras and the pushback in the industry was about losing the tactile crowd and giving it over to something like the like a computer, it became even more pushback, including people leaving and uh, protesting when we um, decided um, to bring video in. Because video was really the enemy. It was um, uh, such a loss of quality compared to film, but we were using it to pre-visualize um, what we were doing with film at the time. And I started to think because I became really interested in symphonic music, that the notation system for a symphony was designed for the same purpose. And if somebody was out of sync, you'd hear it. And with special effects, if you were out of sync, you'd see it. Beautiful product design with um, Dieter's 10 principles would have been absolutely, is absolutely critical to this um, show. And the work is so beautiful. It's um, not really products, it's sculpture and it's design and it's um, his use of color. And his, he's one of the first that I've ever seen with big influence on me as a systematic thinker. Uh, so behind this watch is incredible complexity. And that's true of a Porsche car. It's true of a Ducati motorcycle. As it evolved in a two-cylinder L-shaped structure, they've done as much as they possibly can. And so the last version is heavily influenced by the, um, the weight and so I can't pronounce it right, but Leggero, or however it is, means lightweight in Italian. So it's designed with all of the advances in a motorcycle technology, but then it's um, made to be super lightweight with um, carbon fiber and, and, um, and also titanium. Because design makes complicated things understandable, as Richard Sauerman always says. I think that uh, there's going to be no end to driverless everything. And the drones are a good example of, uh, you know, you're going to go onto an airplane fairly soon and there'll be no pilot. And you'll be assured 
that, you know, it's safer. I remember the impact of the facts on everything I was doing. And everybody's so sick of technology, I can't imagine anyone who would like to see it speed up um, at this point. Everybody would like to see it slow down or become not so disruptive. I also want to just comment that Bezos said a few days, a few years ago, maybe three, four years ago, that we're in day one of the internet. And I think people tend to go to next shiny objects and things, and mobile and social and things. But really, I think um, the, we're at the very beginning stage of, of also the internet still. We found in 2003 a concept which we call functional integration. Functional integration was the way in which products and services tie together like the Apple um, group of products, uh, like what Google's doing, Amazon. Um, eventually, we started working on a lot of connected products and services for, um, for Nike. So rather than horizontal integration or vertical integration, this is more of a circular customer in the center connected to all these things. And then we changed it to connected by design because we felt that everything was connected. There's, and, and, and that the, the thing that would separate us from all these connected things that would make them either better or make more sense would be design. 